Before I move the board of questions, of course, you know, you talked about just keeping an eye always on what you guys haven't achieved yet, keeping the chip on your shoulder. How do you do that? I mean, you're getting a lot of national attention, you're ranked, you're 6-0. and How do you keep pushing yourselves to just want more, I guess? Because uh, I think right now this is not the goal. Like, being 6-0 isn't necessarily the goal. The goal is to go and try to win an act. So right now, it's it's great to be 6-0, especially going to the bye week. We can definitely enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it for sure. But once you come back, we got to go and start over with Nebraska and keep the ball. Because this is this is not at all, like, this is fantastic, but this is not the end. How, how like, almost how convenient is a bye week? That it's like you get the first half of the season, you get six games, then you get the week off, then you get, what, like, three more games, then you get the week off. Like, the just the timing of these buys for you guys. It is perfect, actually, because especially coming from fall camp, a whole month of football, and then another month of football, and then now we get a break. It's kind of perfect, kind of let your body reset. And usually once your body gets to reset, now you probably play even better after this bye week. So that's what I'm excited about. Kurt said, and he kind of stopped himself, he said he was proud of you guys, and like, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, and it, it is his, when he says something like that, does it carry more weight knowing that he doesn't like doing that? Like he doesn't like giving out those compliments? It does a little bit. Yeah, it does a little bit. Because it does slip out sometimes, and he has to catch himself. But it's just like, it's like we're playing so well that he has no other choice but to, to tell everyone about it. So it's just momentary. He doesn't do that in the locker room. No, it's, it's after the games. Right after the games and after we get back home and blow them to the over. <laughs> it's on to the next week. But uh, it's great, though. What was the message after today's game? Um, Specifically after this game, it's basically just to go and rest up. Watch the film and improve, but rest up. It's a bye week, and it was a physical ball game and physical season we've played is really just get all of our guys healthy, the guys that you know have little injuries or guys with bigger injuries, just get everybody back healthy for Nebraska. Coach Signetti talked about your team's culture. How would you define and describe the team's culture? <clears throat> I think it's gritty. I think it's a team that wants something bigger than themselves. I think it's a bunch of unselfish guys that are willing to go out there and make plays. For their, for their brothers. It's not just selfish guys going out there to make plays for themselves. I mean, you even see it with, when we celebrate. We all celebrate together because once one, when one guy makes a play, it's everyone makes a play. What was the difference today? They had a couple conversions that, you know, you haven't, hadn't let up this year. Uh, what were they doing to kind of get you guys on third down and that fourth down? Uh, I'll be honest, that quarterback, he was mobile. Uh, that's definitely something we haven't seen as much this year. Uh, so the quarterback, he had a, he had a, a great game for sure. Um, he, he made a couple great passes down the field. So I, I will tip my hat off to him. What was your message to Jalen Walker? I know you've had injury history and just him not being able to play in the second half. Uh, what was your message to him to kind of, I know he bailed back too from, from different things. I mean, I told him I got his back. So I told him he's not out there, so I got to step it up. You know, I got to play for me and for my boy. Uh, and then especially, it's not the worst thing in the world because we do have a bye week. So he does have time to rest up. He won't be missing another game. So that's that's exciting. And what do you see from Isaiah Jones? And, and that, you know, he's been able to kind of step in, especially some of those three-level backer sets. What have you seen from him? Kind of um, Isaiah's. Always, I mean, Isaiah's always been a dog. Like, Isaiah, he just happened to be behind two really, really good players. But Isaiah is just as good as those two in front of him. So I, I wasn't surprised or, or anything. That's that's what he does. I want to say the first five or so weeks, you all allowed three in the fourth all year, and then the last few drives. That, um, this afternoon were, you know, strong. I'm, I'm curious what you feel like maybe allows you all to really finish well. Um, I think it kind of goes back to culture, and especially us, us as a defense having our goals, like our point goals. We didn't reach it today, but our goal is of not letting them score more than 17 points. So every time we go out on the field, we want to make sure that they don't get to that point. Um, and then when it comes to finishing, we don't want to put anything bad on tape. We don't want to have miss, miss gaps or misfits or anything for others, other teams to see that and try to play off of that. So it's really just trying to stay sound football the whole entire way through. You guys kept the ball in that, you know, um, that mission of trying to really finish, is it when, when you all have so much experience? Like, repeat that, please? Yeah, just, you know, it's a, it's a really old roster, right? Mm -hmm. um, heavy experience. Just how important is that when you all are trying to really finish strong? Because uh, we realize uh, at any point, especially us, Jamie guys, who's been through some crazy comebacks, we know anything is possible. So if we let her put off the gas, then we don't want to be that ESPN highlight of losing a lead, so that's kind of what it comes down to. What, ad what adjustments did you make to, to keep Lausch kind of contained in the second half? Uh, we kind of started to understand his scramble habits. If he get really high, he's going to want to 
exit through the B gaps. So let's just rush high and let him kind of fall into our laps or just build a wall in front of him and let him go east to west. With the week off, what are you guys as defense working on? Shoot, getting our bodies back healthy. But I mean, besides that, really just catching up on tape from clean up this tape from this game and then get a head start on Nebraska. You know, two week head start on another team is big. I was going to ask, how does Kurt handle the bye week? Do you guys get a couple days off here then, kind of going forward? <laughs> Like on Monday, we don't have all So, uh, I, I really don't know. Um, I don't know. We might not practice on Monday, but I know we lift on Monday. Uh, and I think we might have the weekend off, but I don't know. There's always something new that he's going to pull up out there. Anything else? You mentioned that your goal is to keep them to 1,700 points. Once they got over that threshold, did the intensity kind of turn up? I mean, those last two drives, you allow turnovers on downs to kind of seal the game. Is that something that the defense talked about? or just Definitely. It, it was, one, the goals that was important, but two, like, those, those, that team should have really been scoring the way that they scored. And it, was just some, it, was, it was just something in us that we can't allow that to happen. That's all it is. Back.